everyone, I'm Nate. Say hello to the 2016 Honda PCX 150. Not stoked with how close it is to the motor. Good. Haphazardly folded open in a crevice. Uh, done it. And that is all she wrote. Which is uh, what I would expect. Hello everyone, I'm Nate, also known as Big MC Nate here on YouTube. Uh, you also know me as Nate on Facebook. Don't know where I'm going to upload this yet. Probably to both, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, today's video is actually kind of a reintroduction of the channel. Um, I used to focus on gaming content, and I still have every intention on doing gaming content, but uh, I also want to introduce some uh, motor vlogging in that. So, for those of you on Facebook who know, I've actually owned a, a two-wheeled buggy for some time. I've always enjoyed the foray of two-wheeled adventures I, uh, between scooters where you stand up, small scooters where you sit down and really shouldn't take them on the highway, electric bikes, manual bikes, you name it, I've done a little bit of it all. So, today, for those of you who don't know, I'm here to introduce you to a 2016 Honda PCX. Alright, and say hello to the 2016 Honda PCX 150. It's got Honda's 153cc scooter motor in it. Uh, single cylinder, fuel injected. Uh, it is smaller than the Suzuki uh, Bergman. Uh, for those of you who are alive in the 80s and 90s may remember the Helix or CN uh, 250. This is later what the Helix became. Uh, some general specs, it's about 270 pounds fully wet. A, has a single cylinder, liquid cooled, 153cc Honda motor. You can see the radiator there, and the rest of the engine and drivetrain is hidden underneath the seat. Being over 100 or being over 50cc rather in the state of West Virginia, you do have to have insurance and a tag on it. I bought this about a month and a half ago as my adventure into two wheels with 4,465 miles on it. As of now, it's rocking, if you can see it, I don't know if you can see that, 6,100 miles. It's been averaging in the high 70 mile per gallon range between about 77 to 79. Uh, it will happily propel me I'm um, 5 foot 10 and about 235 pounds, ring and wet. It will happily propel me down the highway doing 60 miles an hour, which is what its CVT gearbox is uh, limited to. Now, once I hit about 63, I start bouncing off the engine's electronic rev limiter. Uh, 0 to 60, uh, we don't measure those times on this. Uh, I have done some work to it so far. I have replaced the stock windshield, which only comes to about here right here all the way up so it does get the air uh, I was hoping over my face but it seems to blow it directly in my face now um, so I'm gonna have to find either a clip-on windshield or something similar I also installed this 180 degree rear view mirror uh, I saw quasi motard has one on his PCX and most of his bikes I do have to say I think they're a great idea uh, something I like about the PCX is a, I want to say 2014 and newer, uh, is they're all LED by default. So I've got the headlight on with the high beam, and it's pretty visible even in the daytime. And then you can see that LED turn signal uh, really does pop during the day. Um, same for the brake light. Let's show you that around back here. Brake light pops pretty well, and that rear turn signal is really easy to see. Uh, I will comfortably ride this on the highway. Everyone else is uh, a bit confused when they see it. I've had a few Suzuki uh, Suzuki Crotch Rockets and Kawasaki Ninjas give double takes as they pass me. And obviously they're passing me like I'm standing still. So, um, it is, believe it or not, it does actually have a catalyst. Uh, or a catalytic converter, rather. It does have room for two. Those are your rear passenger foot pegs, but I don't think I'd feel comfortable taking anybody out on this uh, through town, sure, but not on the highway. There is an ample amount of 
on your seat storage. I mean, there's absolutely enough room in this for even my uh, helmet. It does what I didn't realize. It does have a helmet hook, so you can lock your helmet when you are parked. There is room for a rear rack. I do want to put one on, but time and patience, and uh, subsequently money, are important. I bought a ram mount right at the dealership. I know I paid an absorbent amount of money for it, but to me, it was more than worth it. Hiding under here is the fuel tank, which is 2.11 gallons. Hiding down here is your accessory outlet, 12 volt DC. So I've got phone chargers on it right now. Uh, it does also have a parking brake, but mine needs to be readjusted. So I intend to make some content with this. I should have a video coming out soon of a, a very poor video at that shot on the cell phone of replacing this windshield um, from the stock windshield to this one. Uh, I did not take any video of the maintenance on it yesterday. I did perform at 6,023 miles. The final drive gear fluid, which is one bolt to drain, one bolt to fill, super easy to do. It took maybe 20 minutes to do it. As well as I flushed the combined brake system and the front brake system. And if you've never seen one of these before, only the non-ABS models had a combined brake system. But your front brake reservoir is here. And your combined brake reservoir hides back here. So in order to do the combined brakes, all this plastic here in the front has to come off. That puck speaker did not come with it. I put it on. I use it to listen to music through town. So I'm probably going to take this over to the car wash and give it a bath. It does need it. Uh, the wind's starting to catch up here. Uh, the bird decided to find it sometime this week. So I want to get that taken care of. I also have to accessorize it too. 50 liter Kimimoto saddlebags um, that would go on this as well, but they are inside. I try not to keep them on when I'm not actively using them. There is room for a rear rack, that's what this cutout is here. And I'm thinking about getting the Kimimoto rear rack bag or rear rack trunk. Um, it's a collapsible trunk, so by default it's, it's smaller, but like, um, uh, what's what I'm looking for? Like suitcases you can unzip a zipper and actually expand the trunk up so I want to say it's 27 liters of storage compressed and 31 uncompressed I don't remember the exact off the top of my head things that we'll probably do in the future to modify it would be either getting larger mirrors or removing these mirrors in favor of bar end as well as adding a throttle lock slash cruise control and let me give you a quick sound of what it sounds like running to start it make sure it's on the center stand if you have it on the side stand or the side stand is down while it's on the center stand it will not start but to start it squeeze the brake hit the starter just as simple as that and it's so quiet Sounds kind of like a sewing machine. It also does have a handlebar lock. If you swing the handlebars all the way to the left, push in, the handlebars will lock. Anybody who's driven scooters or bikes long enough will realize that's not a theft to turn, but merely something to slow the thief down while you try to catch him. And that's where I'm going to wrap this video up. I'm going to take this bad boy over to the car wash and show it some love because good lord does it ever need it. So I bid you all farewell. Thank you for watching. Definitely drop a like or a subscription. It'll really help the channel while I get started here. And yeah, awesome. Thanks for tuning in, everyone.